Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero appeared before the Senate's Public Accounts and Investment Committee this morning to explain some of the audit queries raised by the Auditor General's report of 2013-2014. Kidero was asked to explain how much money the county government had generated in revenue collection and the systems used to transact the business. Kidero appeared before the committee despite warnings by the Council of Governors to ignore the summons by senators until sanity is upheld and their integrity protected. The Public Procurement and Disposal Act guided you through during this tendering. And you found in your answer that Wait, Wait Tribe, you would be sitting 345 million shillings per annum. You went on and gave them the contract when in fact if you had given Vitio Mobile or Kraft Silicon, you would have seated only 191 million. So that is an easy one, Governor. Can you tell us why you chose to give a company to which you are losing more money and denied this to other companies? What is it that these two cheaper companies couldn't do that White Tribe was able to do? This report was written before documentation from uh, um, uh, that were with PPOA were made available. And Chairman, uh, the responses we are giving is that you cannot bring people who have not participated in a tender to participate. However, when the report was being written, the Auditor General did not have the benefit of how the tender was floated and who participated in the tender. We ourselves are interested in having that special audit do much more work than what the county government requested. The such as a result of the issues that come from your audit and some of the issues we're raising here. So you must incorporate those issues we're raising in the special audit.